thanks for tuning in to my playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It's an honor to do a playthrough of a mainline Pokemon game for your enjoyment, so kick back, relax, and have a great day. So I don't know when exactly I'm going to be able to show this off, considering we can't get Squirtle, Ivysaur, or Charmander, or Bulbasaur, or, or Charizard, or Wartortle, or whatever. My friend Alex, many years ago, in the beginning of high school, made me this. It's a 8-bit version. Not 8-bit, but like a pixelated version of Squirtle from in the games. He made this out of wood, and he signed it on the back here. And I've had it for years and years and years. And you know how in the Pokemon Center it shows like those pixelated versions? This is what um, Squirtle will look like eventually if we ever get him. Uh, it's a birthday slash Christmas gift. That's why it says Merry Birthmas Fluff. Used to be my name, I guess, because I'm fluffy. But then... The internet now calls me Bricks O'Brien, a.k.a. Brian Saviano. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu as I fall into frame, out of frame, back into frame. Hi. So, we're going to go after our first gym of eight. The uh, Cerulean City Gym Leader, a.k.a. Brock. We're going after Brock, baby. So, what's unique about this game is you can't just go up to a gym. You can't just have a specific move or a specific thing or whatever. You need to have a specific Pokemon. Not a specific... Well, you probably need specific qualifications, but this time it's Pokemon. So this guy, normally he just chills in the front. He's like, hey, you are... um, You're going to be the greatest champ of whatever. But now you need to have a Pokemon that is weak or that a Pokemon that is super effective against rock type. In that case, it's water or grass. So, you need to have one of those types of Pokemon in your party. So, uh, you need to show him a grass-type Pokemon. In this case, we have Oddish. So, that's exactly the Pokemon he wanted to see. And in that case, you're good. You don't have to use that Pokemon, but you have to show him a Pokemon. And I don't believe that we've encountered or could have encountered any water-type Pokemon. So, it's literally just Oddish. Because the other types are not grass types, they are bug type. So, you don't have to use them though. And I don't think we're going to have to use them at all. So here, uh, we face off against two trainers before we can go to Brock. You could go around these uh, crazy characters here, but you get the EXP out of it, so why not? So go Ezreal. Uh, using Thundershock, not the way to go. Uh, that's actually not effective, because shooting electricity at a rock does nothing. Um, that's why... The ground doesn't catch on fire. Rock doesn't catch on fire from a thunder strike. So double kick. Fighting is actually super effective. And you can tell because you hear like a da 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 da. Like that sound effect means it's super effective. And double kick always hits twice. So we're in luck. So we just need to do that a bunch of times throughout this entire gym matchup and we should be good. So what I'm going to do actually. Is, so it's super effective. Geodude faded. So it's 35 EXP. Um, Oddish grew, of course. Ooh, Oddish learned Acid. Nice. So we're going to go and move the other Pokemon that aren't Oddish to the box. Just to see if we... Um, like if we gain more XP. No, I want to move... Oh, no. Open Pokemon box. Okay. So, we will remove from party. Uh, remove from party. And the Pokemon will automatically be added into your party once you catch them again. So, nope, we're going to put you... No, nope, I meant to do the wrong thing. Open Pokemon box. Okay. So, you can see, yeah, the line up here. Uh, remove. Cool. And then, remove. Cool. So, now if we go into battle and we lose and Pikachu and Oddish faint, well then, we're out of luck, and we messed up big time, but that's not gonna happen, because we're that good. So, there we go. I wonder what you are gonna have, Camper Liam. What you got for me, Geodude? Go figure. Same strategy as before. I don't know if your level is actually any different either. I don't believe so. It is maybe a little bit weaker, so let's see. Uh, important to not, uh, 
select the wrong move there. Uh, that's another issue with the Pokemon uh, Pokeball Plus is usually when I... Oh, Defense Curl. So his defense goes up. When I click in, yes, sometimes I'll like move it up a little bit. So it'll move the controller up and give me like a... Um, oh, we activated player two. Oops. Um, it'll like move the selection up. So like I in my first time I did this, I uh, accidentally chose Thunderbolt or Thundershock instead of Double Kick, and you just basically waste a turn. You don't want to do that. So, there you go. You beat Camper Liam. Oops. Light years isn't time. It measures distance. Interesting. Little fun fact for you there. Hi, Brock. How you doing? So you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. Uh, Brock has a specific voice from the show, the anime, but I'm not going to uh, recreate it here. That's what Trainer Honor demands. So be it. Show me your best. That's the sound he makes. No, it's not. Hi, Brock. You're challenged by gym leader Brock, and by episode three, our first gym battle is upon us. Oh, boy. Are we going to win? I don't know. Uh, previously, I had chosen Squirtle, which made this extremely easy because you just use Bubble and defeat these guys really, really quickly. And how am I so doing so little damage? Well, I, I am not really... Like, I'm level 9, he's level 11. So maybe I'm hoping after defeating him, the XP is going to be greater because I'm not dividing it between so many Pokemon. And the fact that I'm Pikachu, Pikachu is an extremely fast Pokemon compared to Geodude. Geodude is super duper small in his stats for um, speed. So he does not pride himself on speed, prides himself on defense. But that clearly doesn't matter because he's now fainted. So super effective, hit two times. 54 XP between uh, Geo or Oddish and Ezro here. So cool. Uh, CP of 100, nice. So cool. Uh, sending out Onyx. We are not going to be switching our Pokemon. So Onyx is a big old boy. He's a big old boy. Massive boy. And um, I don't know if he can defeat us. And the worst case scenario, we just use Oddish and we're good. Because it's... Oh, Ezra avoided the attack. Actually, I think that does a ton of damage. But oh well. We're going to just go with it instead. And hopefully you can avoid it a second time. Um, I believe it works the same way in this game where if you... Oh, hold on. Okay, not too bad. Uh, we will go with our... No. No. We're going to go into our bag and um, heal up Pikachu here with a potion. Heal him up almost back to 100% here. Um, like if you pet Pikachu a lot, give him treats or whatever. That will make it so he'll avoid attacks more frequently. And it'll come in handy more so. Like uh, what happened in uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Because I would just constantly you know, do, like, training exercises with the Pokemon. It's an entirely separate thing from how this is in this game. But, um, I would do that, and let's say I'm in a battle, and, you know, sometimes you'll get super effective shots more frequently, or, um, like, or critical hits more frequently, or, like, let's say there's a move that's supposed to destroy me. Instead of it destroying me, it leaves me with one HP left, that way I can actually heal up instead of using a revive and wasting another turn doing that. So we just defeated Brock. Um, pretty easy. Oh, my hair's growing back. No, it's... Wait. No, that's not hair right here. I thought the shadow was hair. No, my hair's still super short. Anyways, that's how unimportant it is because Brock is super easy. The boulder badge has been acquired. Oh, boy. With a boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Take this with you. TM01 Headbutt. So TMs, as he just said right there, are called technical machines. Technical machines are basically moves that you can teach to your Pokemon um, whenever you want. So let's see if we can do that right now. Uh, TM Case. We have TM01 Headbutt. Um, it has a power of 70, accuracy of 100. Uh, and both of our Pokemon can learn it here. So I'm going to go with Ezra here. And I, uh, in the first couple games ever, um, this was uh, a one-time thing. So it was unable to be used again. 
but I believe you can just keep reusing this over and over and over again. Uh, how do technical machines work? I have no idea. Um, even in the show, it's kind of unclear, like, forcibly teaching a Pokemon a move through the use of a CD sort of thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just roll with it. Hey, you newbie. Don't tell me you got to be Brian, right? I am. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. How did you know that? Ah, that's amazing. So I'm blue. In the original game, you play as Trainer Red, and this is Trainer Blue, your rival. Um, not the case in this game. And in the show, it's um, uh, uh, Ash versus Gary Oak. Um, Gary's, or, or rather, Professor Oak's grandson. So Trainer Blue and Gary Oak share a very similar resemblance both in the game and in the show. Trainer Red and Ash, not so much. They're two different characters. But Blue and Gary are technically two different people, but they look very similar. I don't know. But anyway, so he just says, hey, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the professor's grandson, and I'm going to walk away super stylishly and bye. So that's his whole deal. Um, yeah. So uh, there are Pokemon outside of the world you can go and communicate with. Slow. Slow, bro. One of my favorite Pokemon that evolves into Slow King. I like Slow King a lot. Uh, Pewter Museum of Science. Um, that is eventually where you can get a um, Kabuto or Omanyte from a fossil, which I believe will happen soon enough. Um, we will be naming him Lord Helix because of um, the, uh, the, the Pokemon Twitch thing that happened years ago. Oh, it's years ago now. Oh, boy. That's a long time ago. Anyways, always heal up your Pokemon when you can, because it's super important, just for a few seconds. So, like, if Squirtle were on the screen right now, it would look like what uh, I showed you earlier, the, um, the pixelated version of him. So, what you can do, which I'm not going to do, because ain't nobody got time for that is talk to all the different people here they can sometimes give you items they can give you cool stuff they can give you boring stuff it's just dialogue or it's just whatever um whatever so route three i guess we just go route one two three whatever um oh there's a trainer hello you looked at me didn't you well i think so so you are last janice that's a very, it's a very, like, proper name, you know? I don't want to say old, but a proper name. I haven't met anybody under the age of 25 named Janice. Actually, that's a lie. Not met, I've heard of. I'm sure there's plenty of lovely Janices out there. I just haven't met them around my age. And although that wasn't very effective, Oddish is now paralyzed, but it doesn't matter because still absorbed stuff out of me anyways, uh, health. And heals up just a smidge there. Um, I believe the uh, double kick is going to do really well here. And I, I think that that could cause paralysis too. That actually does literally nothing. Not literally nothing, but... Oh yeah. Uber paralyzed here. So you can see... So the type matchup doesn't necessarily work out in our favor. Because Pikachu is an electric type. Our type of moves don't affect Oddish very well. And even though we're significantly higher leveled than Oddish, almost double, um, that doesn't matter. Uh, if the moves are not effective and it doesn't work well, then it just doesn't work well. And that's that. There's no getting around that. So, this is going to be an interesting one right here. So, the first time I did this, I almost lost it. Uh, this is a coach trainer, which coach trainers are the ones that stand in various places to train trainers. Um, so you can test your strength with a trainer like this. Uh, from what I can gather, it's an optional battle. Uh, because most of the time, the trainers, you encounter them, you can't actually avoid them. You're just, you're stuck with it. But here, you can, you know, choose to walk away or just ignore them. But here, Karim is going to send out Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. And he's kind of powerful. He's level 11. Um, the best thing to do, I don't think the fighting move double kick is effective oddish using poison on him i think is effective but we're gonna use headbutt and we go first so that's good that does a lot more damage than i thought it would 
and the Pokemon flinched, which means if a Pokemon like flinches like that, they don't use their move. They basically, they mess up. So Vine Whip, that should do a decent amount of damage. Oh no, not really. Um, because grass type moves aren't necessarily super effective on electric type moves, so, or electric type Pokemon. So, wow, that was actually a lot easier than I remember. Cool. So, and it helps that the game happens really quickly too. Like the animations of the different moves and you know, the dialogue and like the menus and stuff are quicker. Definitely much quicker than the old games. So this stuff goes by a lot more quickly. And we got a ton of money out of him. Um, I don't know who gave us more money if it was um, Brock or him. But we have a revive now, which helps us uh, if our Pokemon faints, we can revive them. And the revive will put them back up to half the health they were before. Um, and we'll train. We'll, we'll go against you. So, what I might end up doing is off camera, uh, going back and challenging a lot of these trainers to level up our Pokemon. Um, I won't evolve anybody. This is Nidoran male. So, I won't evolve anybody off camera. And Pikachu, I believe, cannot evolve. So, um, you have to evolve Pikachu with a Thunderstone, not by actually leveling him up. So, yeah, I don't think we can actually do that even if we wanted to. But, um... Nidoran has, uh, it was what, the first Pokemon, I believe, to technically be named the same thing, but be, uh, different because of their gender. So, a male Nidoran looks like that. It's purple, evolves into Nido King. Nidoran female evolves into Nido Queen. So, it's two very different types of Pokemon with two different, uh, typings. Um, Nido Queen, I think, is or rock and ground or rock and normal type, and uh, Nido King is a poison type. So there's clearly a difference. That's a shan uh, the, a shan shoe, a shan shoe, a sand shrew, and I want a sand shrew. I like sand slash, but sand slash is actually kind of hot garbage, kinda. Um, sand shrew is a uh, rock or ground type, one or the other. Um, I know sand slash his evolution is rock and ground. Actually, I could look it up all my Pokemon go right here, but whatever. I wonder when we get to Fuchsia City. I, because I grew up in middle school with Gen 6. Gen 4, my bad. Gen 4. So, like, this, the original game that this was first came out when I was super young. And I didn't play it. Because, so that's another story in itself. So let's, uh, let's get into uh, Sanshru here, just so we can encounter him. Hi, Sanshru. And Spiro, too. Um, so, I didn't end up getting uh, Pokemon Red or Blue when I was a kid, for whatever reason. But that was great, awesome. Um, I just didn't end up getting them. And my cousin, David, actually gave me a copy of Pokemon Red. And I'm like, oh yeah, cool, awesome. But why would he just give me a Pokemon game? So, what would happen is inside of the game itself, the old Game Boy cartridges... Um, Pokemon had a thing called a day and night cycle, a uh, double team. I don't like double team. It's just basically hires your evasiveness. I don't really care about that. And I'll explain what that is afterward. But Sandshrew, hello. Its body is dry. When it's cold, when it gets cold at night, it high, it, it it's, la, 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 la. when it gets cold at night, it's hide is said to become coated with a fine dew. It's hide like it's back. Okay. So it, it is a ground type. And his evolution is a, a rock type as well. So Spearow, hi. Um, Spearow, another Pokemon you find 7,000 of in the wild. It's tiny. We have a tiny Spearow. Okay. That's nice. Um, so there's an internal battery inside of the uh, the clock. Inside of the, the cartridge for um, Pokemon Red and Blue. I think because it has an internal clock in the game. Because uh, it keeps track of berries and stuff like that. And the battery had died and you can get it replaced but back then you uh no one knew or really cared or it wasn't at a point where oh the battery on your game ran out that's weird like that just wasn't a thing a lure why do we need a lure unless we can transfer it back to go but that doesn't make any sense i'm just gonna catch you for the sake of it um because i'm telling a story and uh, I think there's another uh, coach trainer up here, so we'll we'll uh, face off against them. But 
um, the battery had run out because he probably played it so much. And I would have to play the game and play it over and over again because if the battery runs out, the internal clock runs out, you cannot save your game, which is the biggest load of garbage ever. But yeah, you cannot save your game. So basically, as a kid, I couldn't understand why the game wouldn't save because I couldn't read at the time. So I would get this this game and I'm like, why isn't it saving whatever? I would... Re <sighs> These shorts are comfy. I like shorts. That That's a meme. Um, I think it's, it's called Youngster Ben. Um, I'd restart the beginning of the game over and over and over again. And I never got past, like, the second gym because the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color relied on AA batteries or AAA batteries. You probably don't know what those are. But uh, before, when, you, when we were kids, when I was a kid, when your parents were kids, there's these things called batteries. You got to replace in technology. You just, you just don't charge it with a lightning cable, kids. I know it's weird. It's a weird thing that happens. So, are you the meme kid? Shorts are the cutting edge of current fashion. I don't... I wouldn't say that, but sure. Um... Mankey? Hi, Mankey. Just stop running? No. We're gonna run into Mankey here. Um... So yeah, I'd restart the beginning of the game over and over again, and it was awful. But now... Jokes on him. I'm playing video games for a living, so haha, -ha, take that, buddy. Excellent right there. And y'all enjoy it, so boom, roasted, done. And you got out? Wow, that's interesting. Alright, I don't think we have anything that can actually Oh no, we have raspberries, duh. But we got excellent throws, so you know, how much more difficult could it be? It shook three times though. It shook three times. Okay, raspberry. Oh, we have great balls. Okay. So that makes it easier. So we'll use that for sure. All right. And there we go. Oh, that should have been an excellent. Really? That should have been an excellent. And there we go. Cool. Mankey has been caught. Uh, Primeape is cool. His evolution. He is a fighting type Pokemon, I believe. Um, Spiro. Oh, yay. Spiro grew to level five. Great. Awesome. An agile Pokemon that lives in trees, it angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. So, yeah, um, Primeape is a fighting and probably something else type, but I'm not, I don't remember, actually. So, Route 4 is ahead of us, and up here is a, um, a, a, a cave that we're not going to do in this episode, because that takes forever. Not forever, but it's a pain. So, we're going to challenge Trainer Coach Oberon. Oberon. Oberon Lebron? Setting out meowth. Meowth. Yep, that's right. Meow meow. Alright. You I think I could take out with I think Thundershock is fine, right? Payday. Ooh, it's just like the thing that's on uh, Meowth's uh, forehead right here. So cool. Coin scattered everywhere. Um, I believe that move is good for if you are using it in battle and it gives you more coins when uh you win an opponent, so like with this guy, he, if he won, he would earn more coins out of me or Poke Dollars or whatever. That is super effective. Oh, that would have been great if I uh, actually, I can just do that again, right? We're good. Am I gonna die? Please don't destroy me. Okay, yeah, we're totally good. Unless he flinches. Nope, we're good. Cool. There it is. Bye bye. That's what you get for being the Team Rocket signature Pokemon. Even though this guy's not Team Rocket, but that's okay. So, EXP points. Obron is defeated. 1,300 Poke Dollars. And we got an extra 195. Because I believe, uh, because of Payday. So, that's a TM57 Payday. Uh, I believe there are 60 technical machines in the game. So, keep that in mind as well. I don't think this guy is going to challenge me, but we have an escape rope. Um, that is for vacating a cave super easily. So if we get frustrated uh, frustrated with this cave, we can just uh, whoop-de-scoop on out of there. So we're going to heal up our Pokemon, and then up ahead, I believe, is the Cerulean Cave, which is kind of hard to navigate, so if you are going to get lost in here, um, you know, pay attention to where I'm going to go 
or rather where I'm not going to go because it's it's going to be a long one. So I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on the Nintendo Switch. We're going to be going into the oh, Mount Moon. My bad, not the Cerulean Cave. Mount Moon. And there's a Meowth chilling up there. Did not realize that before. Cool. So I, uh, I, I already thanked you. I'll see you next time. Bye.